Hello everyone and welcome to a very special video today. Yes, exactly five years ago on June the 6th, 2017, the All Seasons was born. Yes, I cannot believe it, but it's been five years now of the All Seasons career mode. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has watched even a couple of minutes of one of the All Seasons videos. Massive thank you. I've noticed that the playlist actually has about 42,000 views on it. So people are not just watching the individual episodes that come out every week, but they're also watching ones off the playlist as well. And that is great to see. And hopefully I can keep the All Seasons on YouTube for many, many years to come. And then when aliens invade from the planet Zog in about 100 years, they'll be able to enjoy what everyone else has been enjoying for the next thousand years, thousand years at least. So yeah, I just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has watched the All Seasons. I just can't believe it's been five years. I also, I just don't know what I'm going to do with my Friday and Saturdays when it's all over because it's just been such a thing that I do now on a Friday and a Saturday. I just, I just, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to be lost, absolutely lost without actually recording an All Seasons uh, episode. But of course, eventually all things come to an end. And yes, uh, there is an end point for the All Seasons. And it's not yet. Don't worry. It's not yet. But at some point in the future, of course, it will end. Yes, it will end. I don't know how many episodes it will end in. I am trying, trying to get to 500. I think that's going to be very, very possible. As for like a thousand, I, I don't think that's going to come to fruition. But... 500 looks very very likely very very likely indeed so yeah to everyone that has watched the all seasons i just want to say a very very special thank you i make these videos for you the viewer to enjoy uh you know i don't make them to make any money or anything like that because you know i make very little money off this youtube channel it's mainly for your entertainment now out of the all seasons i know it's got some very popular seasons in it i think the 2010 2011 seasons are quite possibly everyone's favorite because of course the game was great as well so it's understandable and of course my enthusiasm during those times is a lot higher because they those were my favorite games as well so anyway yes all hail the all seasons and don't say another five years please that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. No, 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 no. We're in that we're in that Arrow TV series sort of realm now where we're getting near to the end. OK, we're getting near to the end, but not yet. Don't panic. Don't panic. Yeah, don't panic. But we are getting there. But yes, it won't be another five years. I guarantee you. No way. No way. But we will continue with the all seasons. Don't worry. And uh, but we will reach an end point at some point. But it won't, it won't be yet. But anyway, thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who has watched the All Seasons. And to celebrate this fact, let's go back and see how it all began. Yes. Excuse me while I do all this manually. But yes, this is the very first episode of the All Seasons. Released on the 6th of June, twenty. 17 2017 so let's go back and see how it all began I'm, I'm quite excited i haven't seen this for ages no i haven't seen this for ages so let's have a look and see how it all began Hello everyone and welcome to my F1 All Seasons career mode. I've been wanting to do this for absolutely ages. Uh, hang on, let me just stop you there, Hookster. Let me just stop you there. Yeah, that was my original microphone. Yes, that I bought for um, £5 off of Amazon. Yes, £5. Because I thought that was the best idea ever. The best, yeah, the best idea ever to get a £5 Amazon microphone. I thought that'll do the job. Oh, how sad and disillusional I was back then. Yes, it wasn't very good at all, was it? I do apologise for the quality of the microphone, but it's a lot better now 
as you can hear. So yeah, there we go. Okay, carry on, Hookster, carry on. So now it's going to be a thing. I'm just selecting my player, and you can see my nationality, of course, and now it's time for the avatar. Yes, there's no female avatars in this game. What? No female avatars? That's outrageous. Someone call my Prime Minister. No female avatars? You wouldn't have that now. No, you'd be called sexist if you didn't have female avatars in every single game. Yes, I expect they got females in FIFA as well, no doubt. Well, I don't know why, though, because bloody women can't play football. But anyway, continue. The sexist pigs. Oh, exactly. He's just said back five years ago, sexist pigs. Yeah. Well, that one looks like Into the Barrier. Anyway, continue. So we're going to pick one that looks pretty much like me with the bald head, of course. Yes. And so I need some help with this series because oh, five times now I have played this game. Yeah. And before the end of the first season, I have been kicked out and I've gone back to being a lowly test driver. Yes, now this, of course, was the 2004 season, which I started the All Seasons with. Um, I'd done it loads of times, not on YouTube, and failed miserably. Because if anyone knows, the 2004 season was quite possibly the hardest F1 game ever. It was locked on expert difficulty. Yeah, so it was really hard anyway. The races, curiously, were limited to, I think it was 25% races. And there was no pit stops. So you just had to go for it and make up as many as you could. And there was qualifying as well. And unfortunately, because it was locked on expert, I always used to sort of qualify near the back of the field. And so you basically had to ram all the other cars out of the way to get anywhere in the championship. Otherwise, you get kicked out because you only had to make two mistakes and they chucked you out and you ended up being a lowly test driver again, which was not fair at all. But I'll tell you, I really enjoyed it. And I can't believe that I actually won the championship on YouTube. I really can't because I have done this afterwards off YouTube and I failed miserably and got chucked down to being a test driver again. So I've actually given up because I, I can't do it again. So this is actually a pivotal moment in history. Yes, F1 history that I've actually did this on YouTube and I can't do it again. So there you go. Okay, looks to carry on. Now, when I did this for the complete guide, I had lots of advice from people saying what teams I should go for to get the best possible chance of winning the championship. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments. That's always fatal. Never leave it to the guys in the comments. Fatal. Carry on, Oxter. As I get offers from different teams. Oh, my goodness. Look at that helmet. We've got a flame helmet. That'll do. Yeah, I like a few flames. As I get offers from different teams, I need your advice on which is the best one to go for. Okay, so here is the career hub menu, and we've got a driver test session. Been invited to take part in a Catalonia. Oh, okay, let's see how we do there then. God, I love this game. This, I, just, I tell you, the atmosphere, the, the way it just used to drag you in, it was just absolutely brilliant. That's what's missing from the latest Codebasters games. It just really pulls you in and you're like yes i really want to play this game which is why people make games really isn't it to make you want to play them and it's just really um i talk about immersion in f122 this was real immersion i mean look you start in a generic colored car that that was always great for me i was like wow a car with a livery that isn't an f1 livery on it i think i don't think i've ever seen that in a playstation game either because as you know the liveries are all set you can't change the liveries and I was just like, wow. Anyway, sorry, getting ahead of myself. Carry on. So here we are at Catalonia. We're in a generic Formula One car. As you can see, it's red with some black bits in it. Bloody hell, this commentary needs a little bit of pepping up, doesn't it? Where's the, oh, seasons clear mode. Don't forget, it's my first episode. Give me, come on, give me a chance. I was just, I was learning. I was learning. And we go off to start our lap now and see how we do. The target is 119.428. Now, I think... Now, do you think I, I actually say wowsers me trousers in this episode, or do you think that was later? What do you reckon? I think that was later. Anyway, carry on. Go out for a few laps of practice before I even started this game, just to get used to the handling once more. Of course, this game was airing more towards the simulation side of things. I complete my first attempt, and it's a 121.3. So let's go in. Now, if anyone remembers at uh, the start of the All Seasons, way back in 2017, you will know that I started these in the summer. And because I was only doing one race, and it was basically a 10-minute race, I actually started the All Seasons daily. I uploaded these daily. All the way through the summer of 2017. A lot of you 
may not realise that, but yes, all through the summer of 2017, I think through June and July, I think, something like that, maybe I stopped in August, I was uploading these on a daily basis because basically they only took about an hour to edit because as I say, it was one race, about 10 minutes long. So it took about an hour. So I managed to upload them every single day. That was to get people's enthusiasm for this series going. And unfortunately, as the videos progressed, they got more and more complicated to edit. So I had to reduce them down. And now we're down to one one a week because, yeah, that's about as much as I can do these days. But there you go. Anyway, carry on, Hookster. For another attempt now, we're going to do it this time. And yes, we do. Look at that. Ooh, well smashed done. it. Absolutely smashed, smashed it. 118.739. Fantastic. And it looks oh, like oh, 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 oh. I said it. I said fantastic. I didn't think I did in the first episode, but yes, I did. That was my catchphrase back then as well. Fantastic. Okay, carry on. Got another driver test session now, this time at Silverstone. Once again, Minardi, Jordan and Toyota will be there. Okay, so this time we've got to beat 4 minutes and 16 seconds. And we've got to do that within 3 laps because, of course, that is a commutative time. And we're at Silverstone. I still couldn't say that word, could I? No. Community. Oh, I still can't say it. Pissed off. It's the old circuit. Yes, this must be the old layout for Silverstone. So let's see how we do now as we cross the line to start our run at Silverstone. Okay, just about to finish now. We're going to smash it. And it, oh, yes, we did. Look at that. Four minutes and 11 oh. seconds. Point one eight zero. Right. Absolutely smashed it. Now we've got some job offers, as you can see, from Toyota, Jordan, and Minardi. Now I really want to go for Toyota, I think. Let's have a look and see what Toyota says. Excellent addition to the way. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's move. Here's a little tip for you. Don't drive for Toyota because it's crap. That car is rubbish. Really is. Yeah, don't do it. Come on now. Let's advance the time and see if we get any uh, job offers. As you can see, we're about to go to Australia. But of course, we haven't got a drive. So someone's going to have to give us a job. And it's a fax machine. Oh, my goodness. And it's from Jordan as the second driver. But I don't really want that. I want to try for the Toyota. Now, this is very, very clever because you can only reject it or delete it. You see, I'll just try to go back, but you can't. Uh now, as James Smith from Jan Sankiv Gaming pointed out, in actual fact, I was completely wrong there because you can actually just flick through these uh, faxes and pick whichever one you wanted. I thought you had to actually reject it, but no, you... So, yeah. Nice one, James. And yeah, I cocked it out completely. But there you go. Carry on. And if the other offer is not what you're after, you're pretty much stuffed. Oh, no, you're not. No, I'm going to reject it. Yes. OK, let's hope this one you is plum. good from. Oh, no, it's a test driver. Oh, roll. You I plum. don't believe it. You plum. From Panasonic Toyota. What a plum. Oh, God. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah, you're Yes, plum. that's right. I'm driving for Minardi. Oh. I hope it's a drive. Yes, it is a drive. Oh, thank goodness for that. It's the second driver roll at Minardi. Oh, uh, whoopsie. Well, whoopsie. that's a very good start to my career, isn't it, Dave? Yes, it, we're Dave? driving in the slowest car on the grid. I just realised I'm talking to myself. Okay, so there's the contract confirmation from Minardi. So let's start this career then. Yes, welcome from the team. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, God. Oh, God. Indeed. So here we go into the Christian qualifying. Clean. Now, I have no idea what settings to use on the car because I've deleted the memory card save. So I think I'm just going to go with the default settings, to be honest. I think the steering lock, you had to adjust that a little bit. Anyone wondering about the all seasons and settings, by the way, as well, um, for a lot of the early games, I just used the default, even if some of the races you needed low downfalls. I just used the, the default settings. Uh, for a lot of the later games, like the Code Masters, I have sort of put a setup on the car, but it, it's always been a basic setup. I've never sat there for hours and hours and hours perfecting like the ultimate setup. It's always been basically a baseline setup with a few tweaks and that's about it that's that's what i've done through all the all seasons episodes yeah. anyway let's have a look look at all these famous names ready to start Who's there left? rubens barrichello kimmy raikkonen cooltar button trilly and um christian cleam okay Cleon. then so out for our first qualifying run at did you hear that i just knocked the microphone with me and yeah I, I did that a lot back in them days because i had no cover for it yeah what a plum 
I'm not surprised these videos did, did so well, to be honest. But anyway, there you go. Carry on. The glorious Australian circuit. Oh, yeah. As you can see, let's Look at those see graphics. what fantastic time fantastic. I'm going to put in in this Manadi as we just come down the final chicane there to go down the start and finish. Let's see what the time is going to be. It's 1.24 at the moment. We haven't quite crossed the line. And we crossed the line uh, oh, now. And it's a 1.30 point six well, that's crap so of course the qualifying is split into two shootout sessions in oh, 2004 that, and let's go out now for our second qualifying run let's see if we can improve on 130 as we're just about to cross the line now and it's going to be a 129.099 well that was fantastic so we end up in um fantastic second from last plum yes Second from last. Second from No, you were last, last you plumb. Okay, then. I the didn't put a time in. Let's start the race. Oh, yeah. Now, okay, listen. so the five lights this go out wrong. once more, and it's time to say go, go, go no, on the all seasons plumb. career all mode, season. and it's away we go. As you can see, 19th position from the start. I've got Heidfeld right behind me, just off to my right hand side. We've got Pantano in the Jordan. As we come down now to turn one, is it going to be a cluster? Or oh, it is. Try and go any outside. Oh my goodness gracious me, look at that. Oh my goodness gracious me. Wow, I didn't know I did that so early on as well. Fantastic. But it needed a little bit more pepping up. Did you see that? A little bit more pepping up, which I did do later on in the episodes. But yeah, that was a little bit dry, I must admit. That was a huge cluster there, but I'm huge cluster. Managed to get past a load of cars now up to 14th place already. And I've got a Giancarlo Busy Keller, of course, in that. Now, of course, one of the problems I had was in the early games is that none of the driver names were above the car. So I basically had to guess who it was driving the car. I used to have a little piece of paper right next to me with the driver's names on it because obviously I was going through so many seasons at once, I, you know, you forget these things. And I used to look at the paper now and again if I didn't know who it was. But of course, you still didn't know if you had like, you can see in front of us here, we've got, uh, I think that's um, a Salba car. So yeah, you still didn't know because the graphics and the, resolution of the graphics was so low back in those days you didn't know which driver that was in that car unless you knew exactly what the helmet colors were but it was difficult to see the helmet colors anyway because of the resolution was so low so yeah i basically had to guess who the drivers were so in lots of the episodes in the early days i used to say oh is that is that truly or is that somewhere else because i didn't actually know so yeah there you go Salba directly in front of me. I'm going to go for a dive down the inside of Fizzy Keller. Oh, God, no. On the grass a little bit. But, oh, no, look. He squeezes me right out there. And Fizzy Keller manages to hold on to his 14 position. Oh, my God. into turn two. And, oh, my God. They, they cluster together once again. But I've managed to get past a few more cars now. And I've got past my teammate. Of course, this is very, very important. Notice the music in the background. That was Two Steps From Hell. And for all the early all seasons, I used Two Steps From Hell music as sort of background music that I used to just talk over and everything went fine. I used to use all of their music, didn't have a problem. Then through the later all seasons, I started getting copyright matches for the music, even though I turned it right down and I was talking over it. But even though that was happening, they were still copywriting the music. So unfortunately, I had to get rid of all the two stats from hell music. And then I just used the generic uh, music that occurred in the later F1 games, like 2016 and onwards, because that was all I could do. So unfortunately, we lost the two stats from hell music. But there you go. This is a team sport and this is really going to help me in this career if every single time I manage to get past my teammates. So at the moment, just past Jan Mario Bruni in the other Manardi and I'm now up into 12 position. And there is... Wow, replay. I didn't know that was a thing in 2004. Wowzers. Wowzers me trousers. It's the pass in the replay as you can see. Pass Bruni, very, very clean indeed. And up into 12th place. Okay, still the first lap. So... Still chasing hard on um, Felipe Massa now, of course. Yeah, get it right, Dave. Get it right. Felipe Massa, you plum. Of course, he's in that other Salba. Uh, but he seems to be gaining a little bit of ground on me. And behind me now still is Jan Maria Bruni. But he seems to be dropping back a little bit. As you can see from the mini-map, he seems to be losing a little bit of ground. So we're just going around these final turns now before we end lap one. And I'm still chasing hard on Felipe Massa. But this is exactly where I need to be at the moment. Uh, 12 position is very, very good for this Bernardi. Of course, this is the slowest car. It's a bloody miracle for Bernardi, to be fair. Car in the game. So we finish up now on lap one, and I'm still in 12th place. And as anybody who has played this game will know, there is no adjustment for the difficulty. You cannot adjust the race length, and there are no pit stops either. So we're now on lap. You're right there, Hookster. 
three and I'm still chasing hard the back end of the gearbox of Felipe Massa in that Sauber. But on the straights he just seems to pull away but I do manage to catch him up on the corners as we now go into lap four and I'm getting very very close to the back of Massa now. I may go for go a dive on, into this go turn on, do I? Yes down the inside. Oh go on the grass and there's contact yes. with Felipe oh, Massa no. and he does Punch the overcut it. on me and manages to get the position back. Oh my goodness. So still in 12th at the moment as you can see and Bruni my teammate is still behind me and I've pulled out a huge gap on Bruni huge. as you can see as we now go into lap 8 and I'm going for another run on Felipe Massa let's see if I can go down the inside this go time on, and get Sam. past him Dwight yes I do no, oh no I no. don't once fucked again it. Felipe manages to hold on to that position yeah you fucked it you and I'm still in 12th position but I've pulled out a huge gap now on my teammate he's not even on the mini map as you can see Okay, so now I think we're going to accelerate a little bit forward now into uh, still on lap eight and still accelerate forward. I still use that in the first episode. We're trying to catch Massa. Oh, he's made a little mistake. He's made a little Ooh. mistake. I tried to capitalize on that and go down the inside, but no, he manages to hold on to the position once more on lap eight as we're just about to go into lap nine now. Let's see if I can get some slipstream on Felipe Massa and try and get past him. Now, I think I'm a little bit too far back, to be honest, as we go into turn one now. And I try to get right in the back of Felipe Massa, but once again he's got the superior acceleration into the straight and he pulls away as we can see fall down to lap 9 and now I'm getting very very close to the back of Massa's gearbox. Once again I try for a move to get past him and once again he shuts the door and says no 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 you're not getting past me. And because you're a crap driver as well Lookster. Matey. Okay then, so let's see if we can, in fact, try and get past Felipe Massa. So now at this point, you see the commentary starts to sort of dip down because I, I can't think of anything else to say. I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> that happened a lot in the early days. And still, he's 11th place as we're sorry for a little bit further to the left, and there's contact with Massa, contact. and I'm on the grass. Oh my Ooh. god, that was a little bit of a stupid manoeuvre there from Dave. But it looked, oh unusual. my god, he's made another mistake though. Ooh. Felipe Massa's made go another on, mistake. I'm going to dive down the inside, but no, in once no. again. Felipe Massa shuts the door on me, but he slowed down into the final chicane, as you can see. So I'm going to pile on the beans now and see if I can get... Ooh, pile on the beans. ...get in the slipstream with Felipe Massa and steal that 11th place from him as we go into turn one. I'm going to go down the inside, am I? Oh my god, there's contact. And I almost go straight into the wall. That was another reckless move from Dave there. And wait a minute. That's nothing unusual. Wait a minute, what's going on? Oh my god, I don't believe oh, it. The no, engine's gone. Failure. The engine has blown up. Oh, that no. could have been with the contact. I did actually lose gear straight after oh, I slightly god. hit uh, Felipe Massa there. Oh my goodness. There Not a go. very good start to my career then. Ralph yeah. Schumacher won the race and I didn't finish. Now I'm just looking to see if I've got a reprimand for that. But at the moment... Wow, it all looks okay. Whew. So, first race over in this beast of a career mode, which has beaten me five times so far. Let's save all this so we can make sure that uh, we're all ready for the next round. Wow, fantastic. So, next round is in Malaysia. Thanks so much for watching. There will, of course, be more later. Oh, I also said there will be more, of course, later. I didn't remember saying that in the first episode. So, there you go, everyone. The first episode of the All Seasons Career Mode, released in 20... Let's take these off now. Released in 2017, on the 6th of June, exactly five years ago to uh, the day I'm uploading this video, which should be the 6th of June, 2022. As I said earlier, thanks so much uh, for everyone that has watched the All Seasons. And all hail the all seasons. May it still continue for a few more years. A few more years. I'm not going to say any more than that, but just a few more years and then we should be done. We should be done. So yes, thanks everyone. And I will catch you in the next video.